All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to more FIFA 18 Everton career mode. Uh, we are on part number 37 now, episode number 37. I've started streaming as well a little bit. Uh, not career mode, I've started streaming online seasons. I've got up to Division 6 now. Just got to Division 6 last night, not on stream, I just done that off stream. But I'm planning on streaming uh, a bit more as well. So if you want to tune in for those streams, make sure to turn on notifications. Uh, you'll be notified when I go live, I think. Or join the Discord or something. It'll give you a notification there as well. Okay, so we're going to jump in. We're playing newly promoted Fulham here. And we might, like, rest a couple players here. It's Fulham, for God's sake. If we don't beat Fulham, then we don't have much hope, do we? So this is November 2018 now. We need to get a new goalkeeper. That's one thing we do need to do. Uh, a couple people gave me some good names for goalkeepers. Um, but I think we'll just go with like a young goalkeeper like this 18 that's 18 um, He was just found was he this guy's 20 We don't need a great goalkeeper like we have Jordan Pickford. This was the guy that I People wanted me to buy but he's just a bit too much money and He's probably wanting he's probably gonna want first team football. He's already 79 So I mean clearly he's a good keeper as is we're going to try to sign a, an 18-year-old or 20-year-old here, keeper. Like, maybe this guy. He's six foot four. He looks pretty cool. And uh, we'll try to scout him, and we'll shortlist him in the transfer hub. And we might try for him, but I don't know. LaFont. But I, I don't know. He just seems like um, he's a little too good for a backup keeper, you know? Who knows? We'll see. Okay, let's uh, jump in. The game against Fulham will probably start a little bit of a weakened team. We'll see. Because, yeah, I do want to weaken... I do want to, like, uh, a keeper that's not 40 years old as my backup. Because <laughs> Stecklenburg is pretty old now. Um, I'll show you guys what team we're going with here in a second. Because players are tired. As you can see, our defense is tired. We might start a weakened defense. Jackie Elk has gone down to 76. Holy shit, he's old. He can still do a job, though. I'm going to start him today again. So, Jesus, though, that's crazy. We're going to start Luke Garbutt as well. I don't want to go with too much of a weak team now, but um, we'll go with a little bit weakened. Uh, we'll go with Yannick Balassi here over Sigerson. We'll rest Barkley, actually. We'll have Barkley on the bench ready to come on, though. Um, we bring it on. We'll play Sigerson there. No, we'll leave Barkley out completely today. We'll give him a, a rest. Okay, we're going to start that team right there. It's a little bit of a weakened team, but I think we still have enough quality here to beat Fulham. And we got some good quality on the bench here. I'm going to put De La Feo on the bench, actually. Um, over Rooney, I would say. Um, yeah, we'll go with that, I think. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. That should be good enough. We got Bezic and Davies. Who are good central defensive midfielders with a lot of potential. Uh, Jaggy Elka, man. He is 76 now. It's probably his last season with the club. Um, so we still want to play him in some games that we can. Um, here and there. Send him off with a nice farewell. Because we've got two better central defenders now. we got Michael Keane and Christensen. Who are 83 and 84. Which is good. Very good. Okay, let's do this, boys. Come on. Everybody, welcome to today's one, Fulham. You want some? Tyler here. This is good play now. Nikola Vlasic forward here, well, getting forward there. beautifully. Vlasic, we know what he can do here. Looking we know what he's cross. capable of, and it's back post to Yannick Balassi. That's the first real chance of the game, and Balassi hit it on the volley, and it's a good save. A save that he should make. But a good save nonetheless, and Everton. Vlasic? Oh. I want Vlasic to do really well. He's so cool. I love him in real life too. I'm, I'm so depressed he's not getting more of a shot in real life right now. Because every time he comes on, to me, he looks so good. Like he just bullies people off the ball. He's so strong. He's got a lot of pace. He's got a lot of talent. I mean, uh, this kid definitely deserves more of a chance. And now that Yannick Bolasi is coming back as well, I feel like he won't be getting as much of a chance as he should be. And you saw what he done against that crowd in the Europa League. I can't remember their names. Shit. <laughs> but you saw what he done. He was really good against them. Sigurdsson. 
Oh, Mo Bezic all the way, baby. Just a bad pass at the end of it, unfortunately, and that's going to be half time. Nil nil. We do have some big options on the bench, but we'll leave it for now. Um, around the 60 minute mark, if it's still nil nil, we got Olivier Giroud to come. Vlasic is tired already. We got uh, De La Feu to come off the bench. We got Onya Karu. Uh, if we would so desire so we got lots of players here. to come on Very and do damage half, for sure no, Lazic has been running a lot so that's probably why he's tired now Davis. beautiful play always, again really Nikola Vlasic finds Gilfie Sigurdsson and Sigurdsson goes for goal and scores with an absolute beauty Nikola Vlasic lays it off for him and Sigurdsson absolutely buries it by taking the shot from off, range the goal. what a goal what a goal look at this comes to Vlasic he sees the little gap there Sigurdsson takes it touch. in his stride and boom himself, the keeper does get a touch but it's not him. enough unfortunately for him look at that oh what a goal oh Balassi manages to take it off him a lot at stake, but and he's still going, Yannick Balassi. Oh my God! How have you not scored? How have you not scored, Dominic? That is awful. Truly, that's awful. Right, that's enough, Dom. Sorry, but that's that's uh, that's your last contribution. Olivier is coming on now. We're gonna bring on Adamola Luckman, and we're gonna bring on Davy Klassen as well. And we're going to see what they can do. Fulham on the break here. Oh no, he's got past Jack Yelka like he's nothing. Pickford comes out and punches away the luck of it. Okay, we need to be careful here because we ain't out of reach yet. We need to get a second, make sure of this. Sigurdsson pressing beautifully here. Sigurdsson all the way maybe. Oh my word, what a save. Good lord. Kyle Walker, though, coming straight back at him. It's a corner. The Just won the there. corner. Oh, God, what a terrible header. Oh, Jesus, not a bad effort, Luckman. He took it first time there. Good save from the keeper. Good to catch that. Lord. Nicely done. We deserve to be 2 0 up by now, I would say, but. We don't want to slip up and just concede a silly goal because Fulham really haven't had a chance all game. In the one goal lead, and we're into the last ten minutes. Oh, oh you're fucking kidding me. You're ball. shitting me. Look at the way that went in. Dude, we better not draw to Fulham. Always gets involved, I knew I knew I was taking a risk starting a team like that, but I thought we'd be goal. fine. Great scenes. Holy shit. What a header this is! Looks spectacular and is very important. Yeah, there was some power behind. Good that lord, it just went behind the line and came straight so back out. This goal. That is so unlucky. Look, it hits the net and comes straight back out. Good lord, he celebrates with his manager, but so away we go at one all. Unfortunately, guys, this is not looking good. Let's go ultra attacking here for the last few minutes we got nine minutes left to get a winner we still got time we still got plenty of time to get a winner here could be a chance here they've got the ball into a good area oh yes this is it oh my oh you can't get much closer than that without actually scoring oh it's gonna be one of those games isn't it where we just push and push and push till the end oh my it's offside thank god it was offside i thought that was gonna be in for a second i thought we were losing if we lost this game i might be why would you hit it that hard? Holy crap. Why are we going to lose to Fulham? Oh my god. Fulham are all over us here at the end. How does this make logical sense? I can't win the ball now. You see the way this works? Sometimes in FIFA, you go through patches where you literally cannot, no matter what you do, win the ball. There you go. No, see? There's something radically wrong here, dude. I legit thank you. Oh, that's great anticipation by Go. the defender, Martin, no doubt. Go. This is the winner. He's put through Sigurdsson. He's onside. Some potential in this move. 
I don't I don't believe it. That was the last chance saloon to win the game. And we're gonna draw it Fulham. We're on a really bad streak right now. We're not gonna be top of the table anymore. Cannot believe that. We need to start our strongest team in the next Premier League game, no matter what. Like this is ridiculous. That's it. Okay, we got a report on that 20-year-old keeper. So he's 68. He probably has a decent potential, I would say. If he's 68 at 20 years old. Pickford is only 21 as well, I guess. But you know what? We'll try him. Okay, we're going to approach to buy this kid. Oh, a release clause. Yeah, let's just pay the release clause then. All right. Easy. We'll just give him whatever he wants for wages then. It's not going to be that crazy, I assume. Okay, we'll just accept. I don't even care. We got him. We got a new keeper, baby. Sweet. A new keeper. And we got Leeds United up next, lads. Let's do this. Leeds United Football Club. We need to win badly, though. So we're going to start our strongest team here. Leeds, you're going down. Okay, we're going to go with our strongest team, except start. we'll start Garbutt ahead of Baines. And we'll go with that. I don't know where the new keeper is. Um, he should be in the team by now. But maybe we have to progress a little bit further for him to actually join the team. Or do we have to wait until January to actually get him? Maybe we have to wait until January to actually get him. Because like we, we sold Gay ages ago as well. But I think we have to wait to January to sell him too. Even though I don't want to sell him now. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's play. Alright, come on Leeds. We needed a win away from home here. As the home team when you only we only draw. drew with Fulham. Drew we lost 1-0 before that, I'm pretty sure. We've been, uh, we uh, got knocked out of the Carabao the Cup here. run. A little bit of a bad Jim run here, so... The, good position here. Come on, Jerry. Oh, Jerry Proper somehow manages around. to hold on to it. Gerard De La Feu all the way. Gerard De La Feu scored a beauty. He's cut inside and absolutely buried that one. What a goal. He goes over and celebrates with the Evertonians. What a goal this was, though, from Jerry. That's just that little bit of quality we needed. Because we haven't been scoring many goals. Look at this. He cuts inside beautifully. Goes all the way in. And boom. Cuts across the keeper. 1-0 Everton. Gerard De La Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Jerry. His second goal this season. Everton with Gerard De La Feu for a second. And he gets it. No, he doesn't. Oh, my word. Gerard De La Feu is having a stormer here, lads. Oh, they've gone and got it now. And maybe an opportunity. Gerard De La Feu. Defender has to be quick. Ross Barkley. Can he contribute one goal before he goes off, though? Oh, my word, he nearly did. Okay, yeah, we're just going to make that switch. Olivier for Werner. He's going to have to come off. Oh, they're in. Good save, Pickford. Good save, my man. I thought it was going to go through his legs there, but... Man, just, just go out for a corner. And we have to defend this vigilantly. Oh, it's beautiful header from Gana Gay there. Uh oh. Ooh. 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 Leeds coming on strong towards the end of that half. Oh, look at them. They're pushing each other down there. That fool just pushed Garby. You saw that? De La does very, very well. And he is the difference at halftime here for Everton. I take the 1 0 win and run home with it now. He's very confident with the ball in his feet. If he had passed it back there, it would have been 1 1. He had passed it across 1-1 one, one. and we would have been in trouble but luckily he did not and Pickford can get a fist to that clear it oh my god what a ball Olivier Giroud oh if he had managed to win that we would have been through on goal here's Olive, uh, Gerard De La Feu he finds Ross Barkley who finds Gilfie Sigurdsson oh shit <laughs> Lord Almighty, that was close, I think. <laughs> All right, we're good. Everybody stay calm. All right, you want to see a good offensive run, my friends. 
Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Oh my god, it was nearly the goal of the century there. Get that out of there, Luke. Beautiful. Okay, we should have it wrapped up now. Kevin Morales finds Olivier Giroud who can take it to the corner. He doesn't, he cuts inside. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, three points, it was 1-0. All of my games recently have been 1-0. I don't know why that is. But, um... 1-0 or 1-1 or something. They've been very tame, but you know what? It doesn't matter, it's three points. We stay on top of the Premier League. Thank you very much. Proper tackle that. Look at this young man. De La What a goal! A piece of magic separates the two teams. A magical goal from Gerard De La Feu. It was an absolute beauty, to be fair. Well, let's have one more look at this. All the way here. He just gets past his man there beautifully. Cuts inside. Boom. Boom. De La Feu. Delight for the blue. And it's 1-0. Der Gerard De La Feu does get man of the match, even though he was subbed off uh, on 60 minutes. He still gets man of the match. So I'll show you how bad our performance was. Timo Werner also had an 8.3. Somehow, even though he came off after, what, 40 minutes? <laughs> That's hilarious. Sigurdsson had a good match. Garbutt had a good match. But other than that, nothing too crazy. All right. That's it. Good stuff, people. Good stuff. All right, guys, that's where we're going to end the part. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that. If you did, make sure to drop a like. We'll be back with more FIFA 18 career mode in the very near future. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for that. Peace out.